This is CG Ruthless Sports. I will be brutally honest. Ain't nothing but being brutally honest. Coming at you with another video. So, okay, so let me put this in a title of it, you know. The title will have something to do with Emmanuel Ocho's uh, QB uh, rating or something where he puts like a 1 out of 10. And the sad part is he puts Trey Lance at 2. That was a sign of disrespectful. Um, he calls him one play Trey because of a one trick pony type of shit. And then he explains his reasons why he puts him there and he's trying to be nice. But I don't get his credential or what he's saying. He talked about he only started one game. What the hell is he talking about? Like, dude, you haven't been watching this guy play. He's actually played two and a half games. If if you are not doing your homework. um, When you were saying something exactly the same to Zach Wilson with that type of talent, right? Doesn't Trey have the similar supporting cast? Doesn't he have a better all-around team compared to the Jets? But you want to put Zach Wilson above him with a seven? Like, damn, bro. I guess for you, Emmanuel Acho, you probably want to fucking bang on uh, Zach Wilson's mom so bad. Maybe that's why you gave him a fucking seven. But damn, bro, that's kind of messed up. So you're not really confident about this guy. I don't get the point about it. But then Marcel Wiley is such a okay guy on his QB ranking with Trey Lance and puts him at a five, which I think for the entire lead, they can't leave this guy's name out. They don't have no respect for him. They don't believe in him. But you got the entire teammates, everybody that praises about him, the coaching staff, everybody. They like Trey Lance. Even Mike McDaniel's, who's the Dolphins head coach, he likes him. He says he's doing. A, he's a good quarterback. So when you look at the media, they got nothing better to do than just to go after Trey Lance. They're trying to get under his skin. And it's not working. The way he handles the professionalism of the media, he handles it and doesn't give a damn and he does his job. Here's a here's a fair argument. The reason why Jimmy Garoppolo got to start over Trey, because Trey had an index finger issue. So the reason why that's why it happened, because his throwing was, was pain and a lot of stuff played a factor. And why would you want to go with another quarterback when you're going into a winning season. So it's kind of hard to do that. But when you watch Trey Lance's last game against the Houston Texans, you saw some flash. You saw potential. You saw what he can do with this offense at the next level, something that Jimmy Garoppolo can't do. But you want to say he's not the guy, but yet you're only looking at two and a half games. It's too soon to judge. For Emmanuel Acho's opinion about him, I think his opinion about this is, is very irrelevant to even go there. Like, you disrespect him. Well, what are you are saying, dude? Like, I think it's pretty much the same argument how people look at Josh Allen, how people were looking at Patrick Mahomes, bro. Nobody didn't know what to expect. So, I feel like your, your little uh, rankings of quarterbacks from last year, it's pretty bogus. I think you need to do more homework, bro. And to be honest with you, I'm not going to throw direct shots like this, but you went to Texas University, man. You went to a dummy university, my dude. So maybe you need to get back on your research a little bit. But as far as all that, man, what do y'all think about Emmanuel Acho's uh, uh, QB theme? Because uh, I'll put it under the description. It was on Speak for Yourself, and this is what he did. He disrespect us, man. Let me know what y'all think. As always, CG Ruthless Sports is out, and you already know.